Hello Emma. So we are ready to go to Wang Sufi. Yes, this is very close to Hassan Loop, but now we don't go to that way, but we go to Sapa, another beautiful valley in the northwest of Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So on the dirt bike, Emma and Tony, here we go. It's time to say goodbye mom and everything packed already and this is the our horses. It's the Yamaha, yeah, road bike. It's perfect for some rough roads in mountainous area everybody and Alma is already uh, to go. So Emma, are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. The weather is really nice. So we're directly on the way to Sapa. Yes, Sapa is waiting for us and it's especially Huang Sufi. i never been there before but this time we decided to go to Huang Sufi first. Guys, you know that Huang Sufi is belong to Hazang province. It's beautiful and gorgeous terrace rice field. Now it's time to discover about the beauty of that area everybody. Yeah, so look at that. It's about I don't know how many hours, but it's quite a long time. Seven to eight hours to get there. But yes, about 300 kilometer. Same distance, like a few weeks before, we did that to Hazang, everybody. Now, it's time to say goodbye Hanoi for the few day. Yeah, let's rock and roll, Emma. I'm ready. Yeah. on the opposite side, Long Bien Bridge, one of the historical witnesses in Vietnam, in Hanoi. Because the route here is also similar to the way to go to Ha Giang. We also have been there uh, uh, one month ago, and the road quite similar. And I think that when we go to Tuyen Quang province, next to Ha Giang, we're going to show you some beautiful landscape there. See you there! Hi Tony! Well, we recently arrived to one of the food stores on the way in Tuyen Quang province. Previously, for the first time, we also visit this place when we're on the way to Hazang province. And now we come back again because the quality of food is really nice and affordable. So let's have lunch! Ta -da! Hi guys, now we have a break at the food store on the way and now it's our lunch. So it's very starving right now and I can eat a horse of food here so now watering. It has a buffalo meat. Mmm. Tender and very flavorful compared with the mm. morning glory. Okay, morning glory and some garlic. Very good. And we also very love the pinko like this. Mmm. Bon appetit you guys. Hey there, fellow travelers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, where we're embarking on yet another exciting adventure. Today, I'm taking you to a place that seems straight out of a dream. A place where nature and culture converge in a breathtaking spectacle. That's right, we're diving deep into the heart of Hung Su Phi, nestled in the northern province of Ha Giang, Vietnam. How does it taste, Tony? It's so, so weird. Could you could so you sour. could you do water and wash it a little bit for me, please? We have some fresh fruit on the way. We go to Hazang. From here, it's gonna take uh, like fifty kilometers left. Mm. Delicious. 
delicious. Mmm. She's just picking it from the trees over there. We shouldn't take more because uh, the house here is closed and we take the chance to steal some fruits from their tree. Shouldn't take more. <laughs> It's quite a long way, and sometimes we also take a break on the way that is, take a rest. It's gonna be a very flexible journey for us, and after this, we're gonna continue our way directly to our homestay, Viet Quang. Yes, another way, not to go to Hassan Lu. Yes. Let's see. Ta da! Our dirt bike over there. Now we go to Lao Cai province. If you go straight, that is Ha Giang province, but we turn left. Lao Cai, it has supper. This is no ordinary destination. Hong Su Fi is a hidden gem that often goes unnoticed by mainstream tourism. It's a world of diversity, where different ethnic communities live side by side, each with its own unique traditions and way of life. As we explore the district, you'll be introduced to the colorful tapestry of cultures that call this place home. What a road! Now we're on the way to Thong Nguyen. Now we are nearly, let me think, 20 kilometers more from here to there. From this view, Tony is on his dirt bike. Nam Hong? Yeah, Nam Hong village, where we spend the night there. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go to Nam Hong, one of the. Yes, in, in Thong Nguyen district, and we go to Nam Hong village. That is a view, you guys, beautiful river over there. In the middle, very long range of mountain. It looks so romantic. Yes. So the way we come here, it's very steep like this, quite bumpy, and it also got broken some places. That's why when you drive here, Remember to be careful on the way with your driving skill. We're gonna take a very short rest on the way and now continue your journey. See you. Everybody, this is another lowly trees. Yeah, it's just to remember the few weeks before we did the trip to Hazang, I and Emma, we stopped in one of those special places that's called lowly tree in Hazang. But here we are now on the way to Huang Su Fi. Uh, so we also found another lowly tree. So Emma now is very excited about that. Beautiful tree. Yes. Thank you. 
I'm gonna search, but I prefer to film this road first. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I prefer car, you know? <laughs> no. Easy. Easy, not really. Because some um, buildings over there, then. the truck is so close this way. The way previously is quite dirty because the hydropower station. Yes, the hydropower station. Being built. Is being built, operating there. Come on, what's wrong? Yes, good evening everybody. So after several hours of, of riding motorbike from Hanoi to Hoang Su Phi and especially that's called Nam Hong village. It's surrounded by so many beautiful terrace rice fields. Yeah, and it's got so dark right here everybody. I and Emma just right here a few minutes before and Emma, you enjoy the tour today? A little bit uh, tired. Yes, yeah. because I can say that the route to go here, it seems like the way we touch the heaven. It's quite bumpy and quite narrow. Sometimes, yeah. yes, we need to go. Yeah, we need to drive very carefully when the, the road is full suddenly like this. Oh, and Tony, like a hairpin. Yes, yes. So Tony, I couldn't deny that he is such a professional driver <laughs> to brought me here. Yes, this is our homestay, you guys. Yeah. Uh, so this is. Uh, this is our homestay. Beautiful Emma. Yes, so we're gonna live in the dorm and it's a way to experience like community. Okay. Yes, we also have dinner and then enjoy the, the nature, the rice terraces in the next morning. Okay. But today we need to find out ask the owner of the homestay. Yeah, what's it going to do tomorrow, right? Yeah, what to see and what to do tomorrow. Yeah, and then so dinner right here, they're cooking dinner for us. Now it's time for us to take a bath. Yeah, we're going to take a shower soon, right, yes. Emma? Yes! This is a drum, Emma. Yes. And this is the buffalo horn. Yeah, like a to make the special sound, like a, fr a flute. Yes. Yeah. 
So Emma is planning to wear that clothes. Are you planning to wear the clothes tomorrow morning, Emma? That's a secret. Secret, right? <laughs> and you really want to do that? It's the most important place in our journey. There is a dorm and we're gonna take rest directly here. And the most important thing, here it is, a net. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're afraid of mosquitoes. That's why this one, all of the packages, we put it here. And then, oh, <laughs> so, so comfortable. And this very deserved. And after we're taking a bath, the shower, we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna show you guys later. But that's not all Hung Su Fi has much more to offer. We'll interact with the welcoming locals, savoring their traditional cuisine, and perhaps even joining in on their festivities. Hello Emma. Hi guys. So now it's time for dinner. Yes. We're so starving again. It was uh, quite a long journey to go here. And uh, in front of us, very typical local cuisine. We have stir fry bamboo, jang bamboo, uh, boiled chicken, stir fry veg veggies, and then fried fish. And also fried pork. And we also combined with a plain rice like this. So delicious. I'm gonna take a bite of the bamboo. Super delicious. Mm. A little bit sweet, a little bit salty. Yeah. It's very delicious, guys. Yeah. What do you think about uh, the food cooked by Zai <laughs> people? I think some cuisine is also quite similar to other ethnic minorities. Yeah, what are differences between Viet people and Zhao people? Anything different flavor? I think the more different is they don't have the boiled veggies. They always eat with a stir fry like this. Sometimes it's a little bit oily. Uh -huh. um, but it's also very tasty, you guys. And also some similar ones like boiled chicken and fried fish like this. It's quite similar. And about the, the dipping sauces also similar with other ethnic minorities. And we also combine with the rice wine. Yeah, traditional beverage. So, yes, let's cheer, Tony. Yes. <laughs> quite strong, quite intense. I think the rice wine like this is more than. 30 degrees, yes. Okay. So what do you think about the plan tomorrow? Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna try the traditional costume of the Thai, uh, no, of the Red South people. And then we're gonna hang around to enjoy the beauty of the right terraces when it turns into yellow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow with the beautiful clothes of the Zhao people. Okay. Yes. No, oh, it's time to enjoy that. Come on. See you. Chào chị Pú nha. Vâng. Chào em. Vâng. Thì ở trên chỗ bungalow chỗ chỗ homestay của mình ấy là ở trên chỗ khu nào ấy nhỉ? Ở khu Thôn Đậm Hồng, xã Thông Nguyên, huyện Hoàng Su Phì, vâng. tỉnh Hà Giang. Thì hôm nay bọn em có cơ hội được lên đây lần đầu tiên và cũng được ở trên homestay ở trên chỗ phần bao như này. Em thấy về tiện nghi rất là rất là đẹp, view cũng rất là đẹp chị ạ. Vâng. Chị cảm ơn. <cười> vâng. Em thắc mắc một chút về cái cái tên của homestay ấy. Tên là Sơn Pú, có nghĩa là gì chị nhỉ? À, cái tên Sơn Pú là chồng là Sơn, còn vợ là Pú đặt tên là hôn tây sân phú ạ. Còn uh, ngay dưới đây cũng có một homestay nữa cũng là của anh chị đúng không ạ? Vâng, đấy là mở để khu bungalow mà khi khách đến banh đạt muốn ở phòng khép kín xong là mình mới mở thêm năm bungalow để đón được nhiều khách ạ. Tên tên cho bungalow ấy là đó là Fincha. 
trà phiên trà nếu mà dịch theo tiếng giao người giao trên này là phiên trà phiên trà là khu nghỉ dưỡng của tiên đúng không của tiên ạ à, của trẻ tiên ạ à. còn dịch theo tiếng kinh là phiên trà còn dịch theo tiếng giao là phiên trà là khu nghỉ trẻ tiên vâng và chỗ đó và dành cho tiên giới và ở đó cũng có rất là nhiều đồ chè đúng không chị? Vâng ạ. Chè cũng là đặc sản của khu mình luôn ạ? Vâng, cũng là đặc sản chè san tuyết ở Hoàng Su Phi. Dạ vâng ạ. Vâng, em rất cảm ơn chị về những chia sẻ này nhé. Và ngày mai em cũng rất là mong muốn được mặc trên mình của trang phục truyền thống. Vâng ạ, mai chị sẽ có bộ trang phục để cho em mặc. Dạ vâng ạ. Vâng, em cảm ơn chị em uh, mời chị chén rượu ạ à? vâng, à, chị vâng. mời em à, chúc sức khỏe em à. vâng ạ à, chúc chị sức khỏe ạ à. vâng, vâng, à. em tên gì ạ à? em là hường ạ à. vâng. 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 chúc sức khỏe chị phú vâng. à. chị cũng chúc sức khỏe em và vâng. chúc sức khỏe vâng. anh ạ à. vâng. 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 Là sau, thì là sau anh sẽ nhớ cả em. Oh, cảm ơn chị ạ. Vâng, cảm ơn. Mời chị dùng bữa. Dạ. Um, it's really nice, uh, a, a great chance for us today when we also can get some sharing from the house owner. And uh, tomorrow she also helped me to wear the traditional costume as a red zao people. I'm very excited to try that. Yes, let's see. Thank you so much, Emma. Yeah. Lượng dân đó, thì nó sẽ là hàng trăm người, vâng, nhưng chỉ có một người. Chỉ có khoảng uh, chục người nhảy được như vậy thôi, vâng. chứ không phải là ai cũng có thể nhập được những cái gọi là lễ tắm, à, đấy, đấy gọi là tắm than luôn á, tắm tắm than trực tiếp luôn á. Vâng. Vì lúc vừa nãy như chị có tham xem video ấy, tự nhiên là một số nghệ nhân thì như người giật 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 lên này. này. À, đúng rồi đó. cái lúc đấy là cảm giác là mình không không có sự kiềm chế bản thân nữa đúng lúc rồi. đấy là bên à, âm người ta sẽ điều khiển mình sơ vào lửa cũng chẳng khác gì mình cầm mình đi tạo đi đi muốn nước rửa mặt đấy wow. nó không không có vấn đề gì từ sợi tóc thì cũng không bao giờ bị cháy luôn wow. Wow. lửa mà có thể nó bốc cao lên phun hết lên cả toàn đúng thân rồi. mà cũng không sao cả không bị bỏ mà vẫn không sao vẫn đi làm đây em có cái ba đô But what truly sets Hong Sufi apart and makes it a must-visit location is its mesmerizing terraced rice fields. These terraces, like emerald steps leading up to the heavens, are a testament to the incredible skills of local farmers who sculpted the land for generations. 
like the view during the rice planting and harvesting seasons is nothing short of awe-inspiring. So, join me on this thrilling journey as we uncover the beauty, culture, and untamed landscapes of Hong Su Fi. It's a place that promises to leave an indelible mark on your heart and soul. You and me Chị Pú ơi, lúc mà vào trong nhà thì em thấy rất là tò mò với những nhạc cụ mình trang trí ở trong nhà như này Thì đó là những nhạc cụ dân tộc đặc trưng của mình luôn đúng không ạ? Vâng, đây là, đây là đặc trưng của dân tộc Còn đây là ngó trâu để khi mang cúng mình gọi trời dạ, dạ. Còn trống này là dùng để nhảy lửa và khi mình cấp sát Và cúng cầu dùng để ngó trống dạ. Còn cái bên cạnh đó là cái chiêng à, này chị? Còn đây là cái chiêng gó cùng cái trống, vừa vừa trống và vừa chiêng. Vâng. Và bên cạnh đó là bộ quần áo rất là sạc sỡ đúng không chị? Vâng, còn đây là bộ quần áo trang phục của người giao. Đấy. Trang phục này rất là rực rỡ và rất là giống bộ trang phục mà em đang mặc trên người đúng không ạ? Vâng ạ, đây là trang phục như mình làm cô dâu hoặc mình trang phục đi ngày lễ hội và biểu diễn là mình mặc thường sẽ mặc như em một trang phục như thế này đầy đủ. Vâng ạ, và đây là có những họa tiết là chị theo bằng tay luôn ạ? Ừ, những thật, như chi tiết là đây là theo bằng tay, còn đây là dùng máy để mai à, vâng. đây là của phụ nữ đẹp quá vâng cách mặc như chị từng mặc cho em cũng rất là cầu kỳ từ cách vấn khăn này cho đến các trang phục phải thắt như thế nào vâng phải mất thời gian 20 phút mới mặc được một bộ trang phục dạ vâng vải rất là dày vải thô rất là sướng sáu rất là thích cái này là vải vải chàm vải chàm đúng không vâng. nó sẽ không bị phai đúng không chị nó không bị phai đâu mình nhúng chàm xong mình nhuộm quần áo Vâng, đây là nhuộm bằng chàm màu đen Em thắc mắc một chút là về trang phục giữa người dao đỏ của mình có khác với người dao áo dài không chị? Có, chắc khác với người dao áo dài Người dao áo dài trang phục là màu đen Nó không bằng người dao áo đỏ nó khác hơn Đây, Người dao áo đỏ màu sực, sặc, sặc sỡ hơn Ừ, ở cái yếm đằng sau nó màu đỏ sặc sỡ hơn Là chỗ của em phần này đúng không ạ? Cái này là dây thắt lưng ạ Phần yếm đằng sau là phần này ạ? Phần, phần yếm ở đằng trước và ở đằng sau đây ạ À, màu sẽ rực rỡ hơn đúng không chị? Màu sẽ rực rỡ đẹp hơn ạ Chị có bảo là hôm nay trang phục là đặc biệt Giống như là cô dâu chuẩn bị về nhà chồng Rồi Chuẩn <cười> bị đám cưới Nên là các đồ trang sức phụ kiện là rất là đầy đủ luôn Đúng không chị? Ừ, vâng, à. đây là sẽ đủ một bộ trang phục làm cô dâu khi vào nhà chồng Dạ Hello em Hi guys Good morning, I'm uh, the first morning in Nam Hồng It's a great view everybody, look at that Amazing, amazing view over there Overlooking to the terrace, rice paddies And huge mountain range over there I'm uh, at the moment having tea, green tea. So in this area, there are a lot of uh, green tea plantation, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, so could you please tell us a little bit about the impression about this place? When I taste the tea first, uh, it's a little bit bitter, and at the end, it's very sweet in my throat. It's really, how to say, unique. 
the dry tea here. Yeah, so you like coffee or you like tea? Which one do you prefer? I like both, but now I, I prefer tea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on the mountain, on the hills, there's also grown a lot, grew a lot of uh, tea tree like this. Okay. However, we shouldn't go there in rainy days. Because a lot of leeches. Yes, leeches there. Okay. Like so Emma, so what about the food here? The food is really tasty because they also catch some fish in the dry terraces. Yeah. And uh, after this, I also get experience. Mm. Activity like we had a wonderful dinner last night yeah. with the uh, family members exactly. and also some more people from France. They also had beautiful dinner here together, right? Yeah. Yes, I, I enjoy the tour here very much. Definitely. And uh, I also really love uh, the local people. Yes, mm -hmm. The house owner, the way they welcome us is so nice and they also really welcomely share a lot of information about their daily life, some festival, and then, uh, um, yeah, so Pu, yeah, Miss Pu, she also brought me to the right terraces. Yeah. Because if I chose the first time to go there, sometimes I kind of get some accident, fall down in the dry terrace. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Yes, a good accommodation, good food, friendly people. It's the perfect place for you to want to escape the city, hustle and bustle city. I think it's take only five or six hours drive from Hanoi to get here, everybody. So you can see that. It's completely different with the city, where you can enjoy the view, great view, rice paddy, and what else? And the fresh air. And you can try the local Zao's clothes, the yeah, traditional clothes, like uh, Emma's having right now everybody yes, yes amazing i feel very very proud of uh, how creativity how creative the local people are they are so skilled yeah you're lucky emma you're lucky emma you're having beautiful 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 traditional clothes of the zhao people i also love the jewelry here yes <laughs> they make some silver okay in detail it looks so good so what the next plan yeah. After that? I want to catch some fish and okay. have lunch. Okay. After that, we try to go to one of the most beautiful views of the white terraces in uh, um, Hong Nguyen. And after that, we also try to go to the Golden Turtle Street. Yeah, also get to the park. Maybe if we change, if we change the itinerary, but who knows? We'll okay. Go there. Okay, thank you, Emma. <laughs> thank you, again. Nhãn hiểu không? <cười> Chỗ này, mẹ có... này là phân biệt được cái lúc cá sống mình bắt mình phân biệt được rồi nếu có sữa là con được đúng không ạ vâng nói chung thì cũng không phải là nuôi một một cái ao mà là tất cả những thửa ruộng là đều có hết vâng. nhưng mà nuôi cá bột chứ vâng. chứ không phải mà hẳn cái mới hẳn cái gì cũng được Emma want to catch fish today everybody so people have so many fish in the rice paddy, right? This is Sun, the owner of the bungalow here. So we got this very, very special plan. We're going to the rice paddy to catch fishes. Little fish like that, everybody. Where are the fish? All gone. And here. Yes, thank you, Sun. Yes. So in the afternoon today, at around 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon, we are going to the rice paddy to catch some little fish like that. Yes. 
and we'll show you how to catch the fish and cook the dinner today. So special, everybody. So people don't, they don't grow fish in the pond. They grow fish right in the paddy field, right? Yes, yes with the waterlogged area. Yeah, and I will show you today. It's very special. I think that it's hard for you to find something like that on YouTube, on uh, the internet. It's a special. It's a traditional custom. And I'll show you how people organize their life, the way to communicate with one another in this area. That's called Nam Hong Village. Anh Sơn ơi, cách chào. Nói xin chào. Như anh vừa nói là mình sẽ không có từ hẳn vì xin chào trong tiếng giao đúng không ạ? Dạ vâng. Mà mình sẽ nói như nào ạ? À, Minh Hải. Minh Hải. Cháu cháu Hải Nhung. Cháu Hải Nhung. Cô nói như là gì ạ? Là hỏi chào hỏi là đấy là uh, câu chào hỏi của người giao dân yeah. tộc giao là hôm nay bạn đến đây bạn đi làm gì? Yeah. Minh Hải. Cháu Hải Nhung. Cháu Hải Nhung. Và bạn đến đây làm gì đúng không ạ? Yeah. Yeah. Còn nếu mà muốn mời vào nhà uống nước thì mình sẽ nói. Biệt Piao Hốc Vương. Biệt Piao Hốc Vương. Hốc trà Vương. Hốc trà Vương là mời vào uống nước đúng không ạ? À, mời vào nhà uống nước chè. Dạ vâng. Rồi ngồi mời ngồi lại à, tâm sự với nhau thì hôm nay dẻo có vả dẻo. Tức là mình rất là vì trong một cộng đồng như vậy là nhà nước mình rất là mến khách đúng không anh? Dạ vâng. Ừ. Đấy là mình cực kỳ mến khách mình mời khách đến à, chơi với gia đình tâm sự với gia đình. Dạ vâng. Dạ vâng. Hay quá. So everybody, it's time for us to go to the rice paddy to catch fishes. Has someone going to share our tour today to the rice paddy to catch fishes? Now it's time for us to go to West Paddy to catch fishes. In Nam Ho village, people grow fish in the rice paddy. It's so amazing. Never seen that before, but now it's time to check it out. So you see that now so everybody is going to the rice paddy right now. Yes, in front of us, this is a rice terrace. Beautiful. And here, it's not easy to walk around this area. Emma and the wife owner, Poo, trying to cut fish. People, they don't grow fish on the pond, and they grow it on the rice paddy, and they, the fish, they eat the rice from the plant, so they taste quite good. We did try that few minutes before, but it's so amazing. <laughs> show me, show me! Yo! <laughs> Go and got the fishes, everybody! Yes, she's so happy with that. The fish on the rice paddy, it's amazing. So that will be our dinner tonight. I'm scared. <laughs> she is trying to cut fish. The couple from the South of Vietnam, Saigon, they're traveling in the North of Vietnam and decided to spend one night right here, same place we spend the night. Yes, and they also very excited to catch some fishes right here. Yes. <laughs> Oh Emma got the second one, everybody. She's so happy with that. Yes. Now we're 
on the way trying to find out the lake where the ferry taking bath and then we also find out the uh, golden turtle waterfall but because we we got lost then we have to come back the way it's quite steep we shouldn't do that way so steep no. When we climb up, it's so challenging, and now it's much more difficult. Oh, yeah. Yep. Could be. Không đến này cái đường có khó đi không? Ờ, cảm ơn cháu nha. Nhưng mà, phải, nhưng mà phải qua một con suối Khó đi lắm Khó đi, đi tìm con được à? Không, không. Được. Đi xa một tí đấy Khó lắm cô ạ, có cháu thôi Cô không, đang ngủ đi đâu đây? Không muốn đi ạ à? à, Vâng, khó đi lắm cô ạ à. Ở dưới đây này thì đường đất thôi Ồ, oh, thế thì chịu rồi Đường đất khó lắm Đường đất thì không, không đi được đâu à, à. Không đi được đường, đường đất Phải ừ. đi bộ ở đấy Cô mang củi về nhà hả? Okay, so we got back to the main world and now we're going to the mom's story. Okay. Guys, now we reach another star favorite place in which place? Mom's No, 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 no. Mom's soy belong to which place? It's a Nam Hong. Still Nam Hong. Wow, from this view, you can see yeah. very typical shape of the rice terraces. It's round like that. It looks like a tray of sticky rice. And from here, you can see the overview, the natural landscape is covered by the long range of mountain and very greenery right paddies fields. Oh. It looks so peaceful. And we also can hear very interesting sound, quite, quite fun, from the stream quite near here. Yes, a lot of travelers, they also try to come here, yeah. they try to come here, how to say, overcome so. more than four kilometers to reach nearly the top of mountain to get that view. Amazing rice paddy. Yes, beautiful flowers on the way too. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just finished filming one of the most beautiful tourist spots in Nam Hong village that's called Mum Soi everybody that's very very beautiful spot uh, every day I track a lot of people here Ma? hi guys yeah what are you doing um, now I just uh, rearranged some uh, devices of drone flight uh, we just finished uh, yeah. filming the very beautiful scenery here that yeah. is, yes, as Tony said, Mum Soy, all we call that is the tray of the rice terraces yeah. Soy is mean the glutinous rice, sticky rice Yes, exactly yeah. And um, next to us also beautiful flowers, yes, the natural plants It looks so amazing Yeah, And now we also, what I can see yes. Some of the, the last sunshine of the day. Yes. This is the way we go back to our homestay, Sun Pu, from the Mamsoi. Mamsoi, all the trips to the rice. The way is quite steep by this. And we also can have the whole view.
It's not easy to drive. You need to be careful when you want to do the motorbike tour right here. By yourself? You Maybe. need to be professional drive. Personally, I prefer easy riders. Like Tony. Tony is my private driver. On this hill for the tea plantation, you guys. It is a typical product. This of the red sound. Nice nature. Đào xong ba năm sau nó là gì đâu? Nên là cố gắng. Hiện đời sống không hiểu của mình sau này được cả các bé. Nhìn nhà. Cái gì cũng nghe. Đào xe bốn, Eva wanted to try that. It's from the buffalo horn. So special. Không biết cách thổi không được. And this man is the sons. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is the uh, Emma. Do you know that? Yes. No, 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 Emma, Emma. You know that's the purpose for this one. Uh, after making that in the past there are so many wild animals like a tiger in the forest so they call big problem for the local people here yeah so that's why the local people decided to make the horns like that they make this very special sound to scare the tigers away from the village yes you know that yeah i did uh, learn it from yeah from from him yeah yeah so that's so good <laughs> It's time to say goodbye to Huang Sufi. Our days here have been a tapestry of unforgettable moments. As I say goodbye, I'm reminded that parting is not the end, it's a continuation of our journey. Huang Sufi, you've been more than a destination, you've been an experience of the heart. You've shown me the beauty of simplicity, the richness of culture, and the depth of the human connection. Thank you, Huang Sufi, for sharing the magic with me. Until we meet again.